Today we're at Jared's place on 1776. It's marked a double blue, which is probably a, a pretty fair rating when you compare it to the other stuff here. Um, there's a couple bits in the beginning that are pretty technical, mostly because it's kind of rocky and it's loose in some areas. And then it doesn't get a whole lot worse than this opening bit in terms of steepness. This is the first little bit of run-in off the top of 1776. You can see it's quite steep coming down. So you gotta really grab the brakes to get into this drop. If it's slow, if that's what you're looking for. Um, the landing here, if you land it in a comfortable distance of maybe eight, 10 feet out, it's about shoulder high from the lip to where you're gonna want to land, which is right in this area preferably before these rocks because the landing can get chunky and then it does continue quite steep down to another little rock drop that's about half the size of this one. So in terms of this trail's difficulty, I would say that in terms of steep and drops, this first 50, 60 yards is really the worst of it. So if you take this easy, very manageable. You just gotta be able to manage your speed coming down so that you can hold that corner and hit these drops at a pace that is comfortable. But it does have quite a bit of rock. And they do race this line. So I think the trail's designed to be ridden a lot faster than I'm running it. But at that speed, I feel like it's more of a double black feel. Here we're just a little bit further down the trail. And this is a section where it gets to start picking up quite a bit of speed if you let it. And there's just enough chunk in here that you might get surprised by some of this weird stuff. Like you'll find these odd sized stumps, uh, some a little bit bigger than that too, just kind of sticking out in the weirdest places. And they can definitely catch you by surprise. Definitely caught me a couple times. So it's more trying to find, quickly find that is, the line that's going to avoid some of those really nasty little stumps and staying on that mark. And I find that the hardest part about running this really is being able to pick those lines and still look far enough ahead to be able to kind of control your, your overall path slash line down to these trails so that you're you know, not kind of panicking all the time. Uh, mostly because the surface is very erratic. A lot of kind of surprised little stumps here and there. So it really makes you focus a lot, at least for me, to make sure you're not putting your tire on something that's going to throw you offline. And then there are a few sections like this where it's a little more flowy. Now here, after you've gotten through the rocky, twisty stuff through the trees, you hit this section where things smooth out a little bit and you're kind of rewarded with some a little bit flowier, more predictable. Same pitch and same tightness through the trees but a lot easier to run because you can comfortably look well down the trail and not have to worry about getting surprised by those roots. Uh, but as you can see, at speed, any mistake is gonna mean a tree, which I have done before. 
and that is definitely not fun at speed. And down toward the bottom, there are a couple sections where it's like this, except a little bit more exaggerated, uh, where we have a lot of off camber with roots, like this part right here. Here we're almost to the end, and this last little section will catch you by surprise, especially if it's wet at all, because it's quite off camber. You can kind of see the the slide grade there. And you can see that you're just bumping over all kind of roots, which in the dry, they're really not too bad. You can hold this high line up here and it's really not difficult to manage, but when it is wet, it's just so hard for me anyway to come through that with any sort of confidence. And then right after we take this little left-hand berm into a step up and when you roll out of that you're done and in a dry you can kind of come up high and it doesn't feel too bad but in the wet they can get really sketchy and there it is 1776